The National Health Financing Dialogue has taken place in Lusaka aimed at devising ways of sustainable domestic financing of the health sector. Health Minister Sylvia Masse was opened to the three-day dialogue that has brought together the donor organizations, government, the civil society organizations, and other cooperating partners in the health sector under the sponsorship of the African Leadership Meeting, ALM, to discuss the need for increased domestic financing of health care. The financial gap for the health sector is quite huge. It is therefore crucial that this important government builds consensus on how to mobilize additional resources. Thus, we are here to come up with mutual, mutually agreed financing options for increasing financing to the health sector. The National Health Financing Dialogue actually is one of the rare initiatives that shows how member states can take a continental declaration and decide to own and implement the declaration at the national level. You have all the support from the African Union Commission, its organs, its regional economic communities, and all supporting our stakeholders to support you in this journey. Cooperating partners are happy that Zambia has taken a step to improve the national financing of the health sector. Many people find it interesting that UNAIDS is now shouting on issues to do with uh, more progressive taxation. It is now involving itself in discussions on the global financial architecture. It is including itself in discussions uh, on debts and debt repayment. Because all these affect the size of the cake. Um, ultimately, we, we need a portion that is going to, to help. The National Health Financing Dialogue is expected to come up with sustainable financing options that will help to address various challenges in the health sector. I'm Nicholas Mara reporting in Lusaka.